Today I want to discuss a specific problem that occurs with improper shelving, uh, and that phenomenon is called splay. And we'll use this example here of this Easton Press copy of Copernicus, and splay is where the book is no longer rectangular. The boards curve outward away from the spine as you approach the fore edge. They're not straight anymore. The book is slightly wider at the fore edge than it is at the spine. Uh, this is something I see uh, quite frequently with Easton Press, Franklin Press, and Griffin Edition type of books, these modern uh, leather bound type of books that people collect. Um, I, and I don't fully know why that is other than I think probably just the way uh, they tend to be shelved when they get grouped as they're accumulated. Uh, it happens in antiquarian books as well. Here it's particularly notorious with vellum and here is an antiquarian example, 18th century uh, Syriac New Testament that you can see the splay is quite marked. Vellum really likes to do this uh, for whatever reason, uh, which we won't get into here. Uh, but with these more modern uh, leather bindings, uh, what causes this is the books being squeezed when they're on the shelf. So books that are shelved between two smaller books like this, uh, if they're shelved too tightly, get squeezed and therefore the fore edges splay outward. Now, a portion of this problem is due to the books being squeezed, uh, which means you're shelving too tightly. So you don't want to shelve your books all squished together. You want them to kind of rest loosely next to each other. They should be able to slide in and out from amongst each other very easily. The other phenomenon that I think is harder for people to get over is the aesthetic of not shelving your books with all their spines aligned. I realize people want to shelve it like that. It looks very nice on the shelf. Uh, however, if you shelve your books with their four edges aligned like this, so they're all flush with one another, then there's nothing to squeeze at the spines and their four edges won't splay out. So the same combination of three books that I just showed you from top down a moment ago now looks like that. The four edges can't splay because they're not getting squeezed at the spine like that. Um, alternatively, you could shelve your books with the four edges facing out this way, uh, which is a topic for another time and I know creates some uh, contention amongst some people. Uh, nevertheless, if you can get used to it and get over it, you will be preserving the life of your books by shelving them this way. I realize the aesthetic is not what most people are looking for, but it is the wiser way to shelve, to preserve your investment in your books, to preserve the life of the books, and to prevent warping. Uh, so this is how you prevent splay.